Hi, and welcome to the So Many Things YouTube channel. I'm Tim, your host. Here you get to sew with the boys, quilt with the boys, embroider with the boys, and of course, mostly, have some fun, and you might learn something along the way. Stay tuned! Hi, and welcome to Bobbin Winding 101 on your Juki DX7. First things are, we're going to start with a regular Class 15 clear plastic bobbin. We're going to put it onto our bobbin winding spindle. At the bottom of our spindle here, you see there's a little plate with four nubs. Each one of those nubs has a cutter in it. We're going to be using those in just a second when we start loading our bobbin. First of all, we're going to put our bobbin onto that bobbin winding stub. This has a separate motor, so we don't need to touch anything on the side of the machine to get it to wind. The next thing is we're going to take our spool cap off and we're going to put our spool of thread on, making sure that our spool cap is larger than our spool of thread. That's very important. We don't want to get our thread to hang up coming off the spool and cause an issue for us. Even if it's winding a bobbin or threading the machine, the same rules apply with our spool cap and the size of our spool. Next is we're going to pull our thread off the spool and through step number one. The steps for winding a bobbin are the dotted line as indicated on the top of our machine. So number one is this little metal tab right here. We're going to come underneath and pull to the back. Number two shows us going off at an angle to this little device over here. We're going to come to the right side of that device and we're going to go to the left in front of the head of the screw. That screw has a little plate on it that actually has a spring load on it. That spring load provides tension to our thread as you can see I'm pulling. That thread is now taut because there's now tension on the thread. I simply drag the thread over to the bobbin Image number four here on the top of the machine is reiterating what I'm showing you. And we're going to wrap around the bobbin three, four, five times, however many times you're comfortable. Then you're going to find one of those little nubs on the plate and pull the thread into it and keep pulling because it's going to separate that little tail thread you were holding from the rest of the bobbin. Now I can engage my bobbin winder. It's a simple matter of pulling the little switch forward. That little switch is right here. If I wish to have a full bobbin, I can just pull it forward and let the bobbin stop on its own. If I wish to stop the bobbin from winding early because I don't need a full bobbin, I can simply push that switch back when the bobbin has reached enough thread for the project I'm working on. So I pull it forward and let it wind. So it's going to wind and I'm going to decide that, oh, that's enough thread, I'm going to push it back. So now it stops the bobbin winding and I've got enough thread on there for the project I'm going to use it for. But I need to separate my bobbin from the rest of the machine. It's a real simple process. Lift the bobbin off, pull it forward into this cutter right here. You can follow the nice red thread against the white background on the machine. Just pull it to the left. It cuts the bobbin off. And now I've separated my bobbin from the rest of my thread. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.